how to install your industrial air compressed air piping system. Before beginning installation, be sure to plan your piping layout and ensure you have all necessary parts for your intended layout. Air piping systems are customizable. Additional parts may be required. Review your owner's manual for proper installation and safety practices. Once your layout is planned, straighten out a section of tubing from the coil. It is recommended that you straighten out the section of tubing one to two feet longer than you need. Then, cut your first section of tubing to the length you measured for in the planning phase. Using the tubing cutter, rotate the cutter to ensure a square cut. Insert the 3 quarter inch portion of the deburring tool into the tube and rotate approximately three times to deburr the tubing. After deburring, remove the nut and split ring from the fitting and place them onto the tube. Place the nut on first, then the split ring. Next, push the fitting onto the tube so that its shoulder is fully seated against the tube. Failing to do so can cause a leak or poorly connected assembly, which could disconnect when pressurized. Secure the nut to the desired fitting. Depending on your chosen setup, this could be a T fitting, elbow fitting, or straight fitting. Hand tighten the nut and draw a reference mark on the fitting and nut. With a wrench, use the reference mark as a guide to tighten the fitting three quarters of a turn or until tight. Note, over tightening may cause damage to the pipe. After ensuring your desired installation height, fasten the piping to the wall with the supplied steel mounting brackets. prepare the outlet you plan to use as an air source. Note, be sure to use thread sealant tape on all NPT threads where they connect to the outlet manifold. Install a drain valve on the opposite side of the manifold and tighten securely. Install the outlet to the end of the tubing you plan to use as an air source. Then, securely mount the outlet to the wall. Now you can personalize your system by adding an optional quick coupler to the outlet manifold or by directly hooking up a hose. Note, all vertical drops in the system should be drained daily or after each use. It is recommended to have a 3 quarter inch hydraulic hose and a 3 quarter inch filter regulator installed between your compressor and the air piping system to maximize air quality and output. Before you begin using your air piping system for the first time, it is important to pressurize the system gradually. Check for and address any leaks that may be present before proceeding to full operation. Congratulations, you have successfully assembled your industrial air compressed air piping system.